Hey guys, it's New Mistaka, and I'm back with you today for a video uh, to show you the brand new Snowman coins that have come out for Christmas time from the Royal Mint. There are three versions of the coin, and in this video, I will be showing you the right two, the gold one and the colorized one. I don't yet have one of the BU ones to show you, but I think you'll get the general idea. The Royal Mint can be congratulated for speed on this one. Uh, the coins were ordered, um, was it yesterday or the day before? It was pretty, pretty recently. Uh, and they arrived within about a day. Um, well packed, not in one of their big boxes, but packed in one of their other types of mailers. But that may be where the success and happiness of the Christmas snowman begins and ends because truly they produce good products but they really could do a lot better with quality control as you'll see as this video progresses. So first of all we're going to take a look more closely at the silver snowman. So uh, a lot of people collect these. There's a lot of these going to find their way into um, Santa sacks this Christmas. A lot of children will get these. A lot of adults will get these. And actually, this is part of a series of what I call novelty coins, colorized, 50 pence pieces. And one of the things that distinguishes them is their very high quality of presentation. Really nice um, kind of expensive presentation for this type of coin. Uh, I really like the way they present these coins. I like the Perspex holder. I like the artwork. And I think a lot of people who receive these coins as presents will be more than delighted with them. You've got uh, a printed card um, kind of folding leaflet which shows you the story of the film The Snowman. And it's a, a perennial favourite, um, and it'll be a, a, a film which will be uh, right there in front of everybody, as it is every year, come Christmas, just before or just after, but the story of The Snowman and James uh, by Raymond Briggs will be there, and, uh, and really denotes Christmas. You may recognise this particular illustration. That's the one that was used as the basis for the first coin in the series. And who knows if it's successful, we might very well see other of these illustrations used for other coins if this series continues uh, into next year. One of the things that you'll notice immediately about this particular coin is the mintage. 20... 5,000 in this presentation, 27,500 overall approved as a maximum mintage. Don't know about the others. There may be other types of uh, presentation boxes. There may be some that are being graded. Coin Connection, the name for quality assured modern coins. I know you guys hate adverts, so let's just call it 2% Rachel. Rachel in November. Last year's coin was a lower mintage. They have ramped that mintage up. Um, the market probably will absorb the higher mintage. And I really like the presentation. And it's a really very nice coin. I like the colorization. I think it may be even slightly more vivid and slightly better than the one last year. Um, is the mintage too high? Well, only time will tell. Is it a good investment? I don't think you could, should consider any of these types of coins as an investment. It's a present. Uh, it's a nice present. Uh, it's £65 from the Royal Mint. It's made of silver, so if you live outside the UK, you can get the VAT back and you can order these without the VAT and save £12, although postage is £12, so you need to order more than one to make that economically viable. Um, I think it's really nice, and I think it's it's a successful coin. Last year's one is selling for round about the £65, maybe a little bit less. Uh, it certainly hasn't been a really good investment raw. Graded, uh, it's been a better investment. Um, with a 70, 
uh, the last two or three that uh, I've sold on eBay have reached almost £130. So they tend to be quite a good one to grade if they get a 70, but not a lot of them will get a 70. There'll be a lot of 69s, and that's why the 70s end up as being a little bit more expensive. How about the, the gold one? Well, it's around about £980 from the raw mint. Um, these things have gone up in the last year with the price of gold and, a, and an increase in the Royal Mint premium by over £200. So they represent a little bit of a luxury buy. Are they worth buying? Well, they're, they're, they're something I really like. And I, I also think that a lot of people out there like these coins, particularly in gold. And, um, you know, the problem with these coins is the mintage. Uh, and the mintage for this one is a little bit higher than the gold one from last year. So you can see I got here certificate 216 of a total of 600 coins. I think it was about 450 coins from last year. So we've got a, a mintage increase of about 150 coins. It's got a little bit under half an ounce of gold in, but... It's a pretty high premium if you work it out uh, for this coin. So you expect these coins to be absolutely impeccable in terms of quality. They should be beyond perfection with the premium the Royal Mint is charging for these coins. The fact that they're a low mintage edition means that really they don't produce a lot of coins. So asking them to check over these coins is not really too much to ask. So the first thing I do is take a look at all angles, hold it up to the light, and you can immediately see that just to the right of the snowman is a little dark patch, uh, and that is enough of a fault to make sure that when this coin is graded, it would get a 69, and it's not a fault that can be conserved. So there's already a problem on this coin which makes it less than perfect. And when a coin is three or four hundred pounds, probably £400 over its gold value, you really do expect absolute perfection. And, uh, you know, and I think I deserve, uh, as a good customer of the Royal Mint, buying one of their most exclusive items, I think I deserve an item which is perfect. This isn't bullion. This isn't coming off the Mint production line in thousands. This is 600 special coins being minted for discerning collectors and it should be perfect so let's take a little bit more of a close-up look at this coin and see um see whether the obverse is okay so uh, we can easily take the capsule uh apart and you can see when i hold it up to the light all around the lettering is dirt haze spots I mean, that is just absolutely inexcusable on a brand new, high premium, modern coin. Nothing like that would ever get out the Perth Mint. And, you know, this coin did come from the Royal Mint Direct. And uh, it really does show the benefit of buying these kind of coins through people like Coin Connection, who take a look at these coins and automatically reject the ones that look like this and uh, only let you have coins that are considered to be without um, any blemishes, as they should be. It shouldn't really be necessary in this day and age, but it is. Uh, as I say, these are premium items. The silver one, actually, I was quite pleased with. This gold one, for a coin which is almost a £1,000, I think it is um, pretty unacceptable, and the raw mint should be really concerned that they're delivering a product which is subpar and second rate in this respect. Uh, and this is not the first time it's happened. Uh, this week I had delivery of the gold Wallace and Gromit and it was a in a pretty similar shape. So it, it's kind of sad and I hope somebody at the Royal Mint is listening to this uh, audio and watching this video and seeing what happens when somebody opens one of their products because they really do need to do something about it and just so you can all see a little bit of a close-up of the photos that are going to be printed and sent back with this coin to the mint so they can see all these problems and issues 
showing them here to you too. If you do order anything like this direct from the Mint, open the box up, very carefully check the coins you are receiving to make sure that you are not receiving second-rate coins. And if you do want to make sure that you are receiving something which is of a better calibre, then go through a dealer, an intermediary, a broker, somebody who can then look at that quality on your behalf and only give you ones that stand up to scrutiny. So, pretty sad really, but uh, I mean, a nice coin, a nice design, but spoilt by Royal Mint's bad quality and bad production, unfortunately, on this occasion.